Hey there guys, this is John Henry Sheridan coming to you with another episode of the Thoughtful Pause series. Today I have something I'd like to share with you. It's been a rough day for me, maybe a rough week actually. I'll get into that a little bit. Um, my thought for today that I'd like to share is this. Give yourself some emotional space. Give yourself some emotional space. Uh, so, what do I mean by emotional space? There's so many titles in my head about what I want to share with you guys in this series as my next installment. This is number 14. Um, I've come up with a lot of titles that I want to create a video about. And I kind of refuse in this Thoughtful Pause series to actually premeditate it. I just don't want to do it. I'd rather just pick a subject to talk about and let it flow. It's just the way I'm feeling. More channeling and energy, right? So, emotional space. So, <clears throat> I would say normally my emotional space is kind of... I don't know, fairly, fairly near to my body. Okay, so I'm saying, how about we? How about I extend it a lot more? So, if I want to feel, not that I want to, but if I do feel angry, if I do feel sad, if I do feel impatient, if I do feel confused. So be it. If I do feel, uh, I'm going to say not good enough, that's not an emotion. If I do feel uh, weak, or um, if I do feel lazy, or uh, selfish, or self-interested, or stuck, that that's fine. I have to I had to give that space to myself. Otherwise it's just too tight. Because feelings are coming up lately. For whatever reason, sometimes I wonder am I doing should I be doing more of this, less of that? Should I be uh you know and there's a few things I wanted to mention, but Emotional space is, is, I think, what I feel best about. So what I mean is give yourself some emotional space. Kind of means give yourself a break. You know, if you don't feel great, just let it be. You know, um, in term, breathe. Breathe through it. You know, or express yourself on paper if you can or if you can some other healthy way. If you feel angry, you feel angry. If you feel confused, you feel confused. Um, let it flow through you with consciousness. You know, I do encourage you not to be unconscious and allow it to flow through you without you being able to control your actions. But to let it come up and it's, it's in the other. Right, we, these things are in our environment. There's a lot of these feelings of emotion, uh, a lot of these emotionally charged feelings anger, confusion, sadness, sentimentality, uh, this uh, what's the word, um, nostalgia for the past. We always, we're always nostalgic for the past, maybe more so now. Some people may be feeling that because we feel trapped or stuck. Um, so I do not feel trapped or stuck personally, um, not in any real sense, but there may be moments throughout my day where I do feel that way. So it's not an abiding feeling, but there are, that I sort of wrestle with, but 
fleeting moments, it will come in. Anger will surely come in at some point in my day, certainly impatience, being a father, being an artist. <laughs> it's not easy being an artist. It's not easy being a creative person. You have so many ideas, so many visions you'd like to accomplish. I do. So many visions I'd like to accomplish and ideas. And then you just think about the amount of time of the day and realize not only do I have to take care of my body, because as I'm approaching middle age, or I am middle age, I don't know, um, things don't, I can't take things for granted anymore, physically, mentally either, or emotionally, uh, I feel so uh, sensitive. I always did feel sensitive, and now even more so. So I really have to guard my energy and protect myself, and I chant a lot every day to keep my, uh, my life condition high to ensure that I don't go down the slippery slope of just um, semi-conscious thinking or convenience without truly questioning is what I'm about to say or do useful. You know, I do a lot of things just to be funny or get a kick out of it, but sometimes it, it could be a waste of energy. Um, anyway, so give yourself some emotional space. If you need to take a walk, if you need to take a drive, if you drive, or let's just put the headphones on and listen to music that you love, you know, rock out or cry. Or If you can cry, please, in a, in a comfortable way for you, don't go cry. I think the world needs it. What the world doesn't need is... Uh, reflect, um, what's the word, reflecting uh, energy back. What we need is to not absorb and like take on things like a victim, but to transform. When energy comes our way, that's part of the collective, and it's not great, doesn't feel great, rather than just like toss it back at the next person, we can transmute it, transform it through our high life condition, our clean mind, <clears throat> maybe create a poem, maybe create a song, maybe just do a dance, or maybe get inspiration to do something that will bring value to other people. That's all for today, keeping it short, relatively. So give yourself some emotional space. Until next time, take care and smile.